Hi, I'm the CEO of Pandio, Gideon Rubin, and one of the founders, and I'm here today talking to one of our data scientists, uh, Catherine Tao. Welcome today, and I'm glad to be speaking with you. Hi, Gideon. Thanks so much for having me today. I'm excited. Well, great. Thanks. We're going to ask you some questions about your background because we're really excited to hear more about, you know, how you came to data science and, you know, how you came to uh, Pandio and the data standard. So I'd love to start out by just asking, you know, why did you study data science? Yeah, so I heard that data science is a really new, kind of hot new emerging field. A lot of industries are kind of getting on top of using more data science and just data in general within their industries and companies. AI is starting to also become really large and machine learning as well. And I thought that data science was a good mixture of a lot of different intersections of a lot of different academic work that I could have gone into as a college student at the time. I think that data science merges the gap between business, math and technology and cognitive science as well, kind of thinking about um, the consumer behavior as well. So I thought it was a good field for me to go into since it kind of bridges a little bit of everything that I was looking for. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it has a very broad uh, uh, ability to apply a lot of knowledge. So now that you're doing it um, or you're in and studying it and you're coming, you're coming out of it now, you're, you're finishing up your studies. Um, you know, what do you like most about studying and working in this field? Yeah, so I think especially in this field, since it's technology, things are always going to be evolving. Things are always changing. Um, the issues that we're having today in technology, we won't be having in the next five to 10 years. And so things are just always changing and advancing. And I think that made it really interesting to me because it's a field that isn't going to be boring because it's a new challenge and a new set of problems for you to solve every day. So that is what I was kind of interested in about the field. Yeah, I mean, definitely there's a lot of problem solving involved, which is great. So you get that feeling of accomplishment when you actually solve the problems, right? Um, so when you think about it, I mean, I know because you've been working with us for a while, so I know a little bit about some of your superpowers, but I would love to hear for the audience a little more about kind of what you bring to the table and what you think is a good fit and strength uh, related to data science. Yeah, so I think a specific aspect, I guess you can call it, of data science that not enough people kind of talk about is the communication aspect of data science. And I think that is that would be a superpower of mine, just being able to communicate data and technology to different departments within our organization. I think that as a data scientist, we're not always just thinking about the technology and analysis of all the data, but we're also communicating it to our consumers and to our business stakeholders and to our executives. And it's important to make sure that everyone is kind of on the same page. So that's kind of a superpower of mine. I like being that in-between person of talking about the business things and the technology things. I like really bridging the gap between that. Yeah, and that's definitely a very valuable part of, you know, working in any industry and in technology, it, you know, people talk a lot about this concept of translation or translating sort of the business requirements, business needs into technology. And now it's starting to emerge as a huge area within data science as well. You know, uh, you have to translate these business problems or business challenges into mathematical equations essentially and solve them, yeah. right? And, and so that's, that's really uh, a great power to have because you're able to bridge the gap between not just solving the problem, but understanding and, and communicating the problem back and forth. And, and that's very valuable. So tell me a little bit, you know, when was the first time you really started to get interested in data science? You know, was there was there an epiphany, a moment or, or it happened gradually? Yeah, so I was in a major prior to data science and I decided I want to go into more of a technology field. I wanted to try to learn to go into more of a field that had coding, but still had kind of the business side and the math side of everything. So data science was a newer major within my university. For the first course that I was able to take, it was kind of the intro to Python class. Class. And so I was able to take that class and it was super interesting to me, the different things that you can do with Python alone. It's a very simple technology language to use, but there's so many things you can do with it to um, improve AI and machine learning in the future. I think a good support system at my university with a lot of the students that I was just friends with and also a lot of the professors were very supportive in wanting all the students to learn and understand the concepts within um, the industry to kind of 
help us improve when we graduate afterwards. So that was kind of the time when I was interested in the field. So kind of in the middle of my college career. Nice. And, and um, so let's talk college for a second. You know, yeah. can you tell the audience a little <laughs> bit about the program that you decided to take and then sort of like that course of study? That would be great, I'm sure, for a lot of people to hear. Yeah, so I graduated from UC San Diego. And so um, they had a new data science field around the time of my third year of college. And so that was the time when I said, OK, this is the time to switch into the major now. And so I switched in and the course load is very interesting. And I think it really prepared us for industry life and work life afterwards. Uh, we learned a lot of the basic foundations of data science, such as a lot of theory courses, a lot of um, technical languages such as Python, SQL. We learned also a lot about cloud and we learned about AWS, Apache Spark as well, a lot of the um, interesting coursework there. And I think that it really helps us understand the technical foundation once we go into the work life, since a lot of the things that we learned were transferable. Yeah, so what was your favorite part about UCSD? I think at UCSD, my favorite part was kind of just the support system at UCSD. I think, especially since this is a newer field, both in industry and in academia, everyone's kind of supporting each other, whether it be the, my counselors, my advisors, my professors, or even some of my friends that are at university. We're all supporting each other to really learn the concepts to the best of our ability and support each other. So I think that was kind of my favorite part of being at university um, and being in a major where everyone is kind of helping out each other. Yeah, that sounds great. I, I, so, you know, I'm curious, how did you hear about the data standard in the beginning? Yeah, so I was very involved with a lot of different data science organizations on campus at UCSD. So I was a part of data science student organization on campus. Um, I was one of the campus leaders. And so I was able to kind of help connect industry to students to help gain internships. And one of the companies that kind of reached out to us was the data standard, and they were kind of looking for more interns to work with us. And so that really helped me understand. I, I got to look into the data standard and I liked how the organization was kind of helping foster the inclusion of more data enthusiasts from all over the US really. And so I thought that was a great way for me to both network, but also learn more about the technical side of just AI and cloud in general. Nice. And what's your experience been like now that you've been working uh, with the data standard for a while? Yeah, I think it's been so much fun. Uh, and this is definitely my favorite job that I've had, especially in a data kind of technical field. Like I had mentioned earlier, I like being in a environment where it's very inclusive and very supportive. I think ever since the first day that I worked at the data standard, I remember one of the head managers asked me, he, he set up a meeting with me and he asked me, what do I want to get out of my experience with the data standard? And I think it's really important that um, to emphasize that they really focus on what you want to learn because I, I wanted to actually learn more about the managerial side and the business side, even though I was coming from more of a technical background. And I was able to do that just by saying that in the first day. And everyone is just super supportive. Everyone's able to help each other out. And that's kind of the environment that I really like. I've also really liked being able to network with a lot of different professionals working in the field right now. I've been able to connect with people from all different data backgrounds, all from different companies such as Microsoft, IBM, Splunk, and a lot of other companies as well. So it's been a very fun experience, definitely. Yeah, and you know, it's been great. I, I watch all the videos. You're the host of so many podcasts and videos. It's been great to watch you and and get to talk to all these people. And so I'm curious, you know, from your perspective, do you have some favorites that you've interviewed? Yeah, definitely. I think I have a few. I can't really pick one, but uh, I'll talk about one person first. So her name was Christina Sothopoulos, and she is one of the data analytics consultants for Google. And she just was a very strong female leader that I liked being able to look up to. I was able to actually work on a women in data event recently with her, and she was one of the leads for our event, one of the hosts. And I was able to work closely with her on kind of planning and building the roadmap for this specific event for our community members and she just has a lot of different interesting experiences that she's able to share with me both in just the book club that she hosts and as well as the her full-time job and also her part-time job as a professor and it's just interesting how she's able to kind of balance out everything but then I also have uh, Rizwana Raymond from PlayStation. 
I thought she was super interesting because she's actually in a field that is super interesting to me, which is product management, but she still works on the data side. So she kind of manages all the data scientists and data engineers within her team. Um, and it was super interesting to learn more from her perspective and her background and just kind of the road of how she got into the field that she is in today. So I think these are some of the people that uh, have been super interesting to me to kind of work closely with, uh, especially at, at the data standard. Yeah, that's great. And, um, you know, you mentioned that uh, Women in Data event, and that was a like a very large event. It was great to watch. You know, something I, I have two daughters and you've heard me ask this question before, but I'm curious from your perspective, having just come out of uh, you know university, you know, is there advice or guidance you'd give to women who want to go into the data science? You know, I'd love to hear if you have some some gems or thoughts there. Yeah, I think that's a really good question. I think at a very young age, it's important to kind of encourage young girls that you can go into STEM, you can do anything that you want to do. You don't have to be stuck to um, kind of the gender norms, if you want to call it that. And I think that is super important because it carries on to while you're getting older, I think. And I, I think I've definitely noticed that with a lot of other women I've talked to as well. They've also mentioned how their parents and their family members have been a huge support of encouraging them to do more math classes, do more um, STEM and programming classes at a, a younger age, just to try it out and see if you like it or or not. And it, I think the the biggest thing is to know that you tried it and if you liked it, then you liked it. You can continue on just encouraging them to continue this at a young age um, is definitely super important. Yeah, I know, um, you know, just in general for me, as far as my philosophy, one of my philosophies of parenting is very much in line with that. You know, it's it's much easier in life to figure out what you don't like and what you do like, you know, so so you need to try, you know, you need to try these things and, and experiment. And that's great. Um, so anything else you'd like to share uh, with the audience? Yeah, I've had so much fun kind of working at the Data Standard. I think it's been such a unique experience. It's definitely not what I expected to go into as a kind of a podcast host working in a data field, but still working and networking with a lot of different data professionals. So um, I think it's been so much fun to kind of be at a startup to wear a lot of different hats as well. I've had a lot of different opportunities to try a lot of different things. That's like you had mentioned, you don't know if you'll like something or not like something until you've tried it. So um, I think it's been a great opportunity to work at the data standard to um, kind of have all the, these opportunities there. Well, great. Thank you. Um, no, I think that's great. And I agree. You know, it's it's uh, life is about learning and growing and, and trying new things. And, you know, I, I think you've done an amazing job at the data standard, you know, as CEO of Handio. Um, I've also very much appreciated working with you. And I'm so glad that we had this opportunity to have uh, a time to talk together. And again, I, I'm just excited that I'm the host and you're the guest <laughs> because you're, you're so often the host. And, um, you know, I'd say, I hope we can continue to do great things together. I hope you'll stay engaged with the data standard community and I'm looking forward to more great things to come. And uh, with that, I'll sign off and say goodbye and thanks for uh, joining us today. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much, Gideon.